I don't know what it was about this place that first caught my eye. But I do know that from that day on, it held me in its grip. It was just a room, but there was something about it. Um, I was, I must have been like 20, and I passed the house on the street, and uh, there was a window open, and there was music coming out, and it mesmerized me. I, I totally forgot everything around me. It was in the first floor, I had two windows. Um, one of them was always open, day and night. And there were these books. Who owned them? What was in them? Uh, the other window was always closed. And it had a curtain. I hated that curtain blocked my view. At night, music would drift through the open window out onto the street. The room would be illuminated with a pink light. I would stand there for hours until the music stopped and the light went off. dog. Ah, the favorite horse. Those two are friends. We'd go riding. This guy would be sitting on top of a, a horse. Oh, yeah. First love. I'm gonna love you like nobody's loved you. I was curious. Um, I came by the house every other day, and I never saw anybody. I went to ring the doorbell to see if I could connect with the tenants, but uh, there was never anybody here, and I didn't ring the doorbell. I just, uh, I was a coward. My inner voice said it was my imagination. During the day, I agreed. But in the evening, as I walked past the house again, the music was still there and it was very real. Then suddenly stopped because I found that the house was empty. I felt as if I had been abandoned by people I didn't know. Now it was just an ordinary house with empty rooms. The spell had been broken. It was sad. After that, I avoided the street altogether. I left town. I left my city of birth. Lived in a bunch of different places, different jobs, and only returned two weeks ago. I had to see some specialists and do some dental work. I'd asked a friend to find me a place to stay for a couple of weeks, and as chance would have it, he rented this house, the same house, the same room. And I never 
never seen this room before. Yeah. Harry here. How are you? I know it's early. How's the party? Well, oh, good to hear that. I'm just calling you to let you know what's going on here. You know, doctors don't know what's going on. Yeah, they can't find it exactly. The tests, and so I'm just still waiting. But everything's fine. Could be, I guess, you know, when you get older, you get more scared. You get attached to things. Um, you know, you miss more things or people or animals. Um, well, some of them live in different countries. Some of them are dead. Uh, and I have some, I have some people that I see. Just what I expected to find, I don't know. The room had been empty for all this time. The first night in the room, I had no headaches. I slept like a log, got up once to take a leak, watched the day break. finally knew what drew me so strongly to this room. It is the room where I will die. 